everyone Paolo here so welcome back to just another dang how to channel so this is my uh, git primer uh, tutorial series um, on the first part we downloaded and installed um, git on the Mac and then we made itself known to git by specifying the username and the user email so what I did not mention is there's a few more parameters that you could configure and where all these configuration files are located at so uh, you could also configure the core editor so depending on your system or what if you're on mac or windows you could go to this um, uh, link i'll put the link on the description below and you could copy it and you could configure it for the default editor that you want to uh, set up for your machine and then another one that I wanted to talk about is the location of the uh, configuration files so earlier well, we did git uh, global and you would see that there's uh, three locations where configuration file actually could, there could be more but we're just gonna cover the global the system and the local so the global is when I go to uh, my root directory here and I just hit control shift on a Mac it would show all my hidden files you would see that there's a git configuration file here so this is where I had the um, username and user email created and another way to know where all the location of this are is you if I open up my terminal and I clear this and I go git config dash dash list uh, show origin this would show me the other locations of the configuration file so this would be the system one so if I just um, open this on an editor you would see what this contains if I just scroll down a little, little bit but at the bottom this is where we defined our um, configuration setup uh, from last uh, video so if I go code uh, code here is a VX uh, stu VS studio code so you could see these are the default uh, configuration files that uh, got in set up when I installed uh, the latest version of Git on this machine Cool. Um, now that we got that covered, uh, let's get back to the main topic of this uh, tutorial, which is the uh, Git basics. So on this tutorial, we're going to cover how to record changes, uh, track files, staged files, and ignore uh, how to use the ignore um, functionality if you don't want to track changes. And then we're going to um, also look into some other tools like uh, git diff and gif diff tool to uh, compare stage and stage changes so I prepared some slides here just to um, show you how um, the stages of a file would be on a git so it's either track or untrack when it's track it goes into several um couple stages uh it could go to unmodified modified and stage so let me uh, work it out so for example here we have an index file and it's currently untracked it's in the repository that local repository that we have when we add the file using the git add command it goes to the stage um, phase once it's on the stage phase that means it's ready to be committed when you commit that file it goes it takes a snapshot of that uh, uh, file and then it goes to the unmodified uh, version so if if I edit this file it will now go to modified again if I want to commit this now I need to stage the file and it goes back to the stage and if I'm ready to commit take a snapshot of this change then I commit the file and it goes back to unmodified so that's basically the life cycle of your development so there's some instances where you don't want the file to be tracked anymore so you either remove the file and it becomes untracked 
so it's um, hopefully when we start playing around with the files it will be more clear so I'll open up my finder again and I'm just going back to the folder that we created so we created uh, two um, repos locally on my machine as you can see there's a dot git uh, folder there so this is where the uh, local per directory configuration would sit so you could have your own configuration here as well which would override the uh, system and the the user the global level and the system level so let's pick one so i'm going to open this i have uh, visual studio code again that i'm going to use for this one so it's much more easier for me to show and also access the terminal at the same time so I'm going to drop a link on the video below on how to, uh, where you could grab a vis Visual Studio code. And I also do another uh, tutorial series on using Visual Studio code in the future. So as you can see, there's no files here. And the most basic command that you do on um, the terminal is you check the status of that repository. As you can see, it will tell you uh, that I'm on the default branch which is the master and there's no commits yet so if i'm going to add a new file now so i'm going to add an index.html i'm just going to add a boilerplate here and say just another thing page and say hello world save that if I go to git status, you would see that on this section we have untrack files, which is the index uh, HTML. Uh, another cool thing about Visual Studio Code is you could see this uh, indicator here. It's also saying U. And I could also get say git status and dash S, which is a uh, shorthand because git status is too verbose. Um, dash s is a little bit more uh, silent so question mark question mark meaning this uh, file is untracked so if I want to track this file I just simply do a git add and if I check for the status again now it would say that I have files ready to be committed so from being untracked it's now track and it's uh, on the stage area so if I add another file, so let's create another readme file here. And let's say YouTube git basics. And if I do a git status, you would see I have um, one file that's stage, one file that's untracked. So let's um, practically add this as well and do a git status you would see I now have two files staged and ready to be committed but what if you want to edit that file again after you already have it um, staged so if I go to hello world here and say hello world again and I go to git status you would see that the file is listed on both it's both uh, stage and there's another version which says modified what this means is when we said git add the first time it knew the uh, current state of that file which was just hello world when i modified it again and then uh, didn't stage that um, it has the latest version that i'm working on hope that makes sense so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a git diff so I, what git diff does is it's going to compare the unstage uh, the modified one to the current stage uh, version of the file so if I just say git diff you would see that the stage version is on the one on top which is the A 
and then the bottom version is the latest one which is the b uh, index that html so it's able to identify that they're both uh, the difference of the two files so if i now say git add index here and go git status you would see that the file is now again staged uh, ready to be committed if i go back to git diff you would see that there's no difference that's because git diff only checks for the uh, stage and the modified status if you want to check something from the previous commit which we haven't done yet you say git diff um, and then say cached so this is saying there was no commit at all and all of these are new changes cool so let's commit this file to commit you just say git commit and it's going to open up the default uh, editor that you have so this would be where we had core uh, editor defined on the configuration so this one just open up uh, this one so I'm gonna gonna type initial commit. I'm gonna hit the um, escape escape uh, key and then hit shift and then colon and then X to write out that message. If I go to git status now, you would see that nothing to commit. I'm on the latest working group. So let's try modifying the readme file again and say youtube basics um, how to uh, use git if i do a git status now you would see that this file has been modified if i do a git diff and say cache Uh, I need to add this first. So git add readme and say git diff cache. So here it's going to compare this file to the previous last commit. So that's how you use this um, git diff command. Cool. So let us jump into the next section, which is um, uh, ignoring some of the files that you don't want to be tracked as you can see here also it's showing on my visual studio code is showing me hints that this has been modified so from here but i don't want to do that because as long as you know every command on the terminal you could use any um, gui tool for uh, using git so if I go to git status, I'm just going to say git commit again. And this time, I'm not going to use the inline um, editor. I could actually type dash m and type the message that I want. Updated readme file. Let's hit enter. So it's going to commit it again and give me a summary of what has changed or what it there you go and then let's see let's say uh, i want to start ignoring some files so if i go to git i know i go here and create a new file called git ignore from here um i could specify for example star and say php and star uh, py. So what's this telling? Any file that ends with .php or .py, do not uh, ignore them and don't add them to this repository. So if I add here index.php, if I go to git status here, it would show me only this file. So it's already kind of reading that index.php. So let's stage this file by seeing git add ignore oh. 
the git status see the file there i'm going to try adding another file say index.py if i go to git status you would see it's only showing this one if i now uh, remove this git ignore here and do a git status here you would see that it now recognized that um, the file is no longer ignored it, it could be tracked so i could stage this file cool so that's it for this tutorial we'll cover the other commands uh git basic commands on the next tutorial um hope you like this video um please and you find it, and you found it useful please subscribe to my youtube channel cheers bye for now